Hi everyone. Today we are going to do something really cool in five minutes. So welcome to this session of mine. And this is a uh, first time I'm doing something like a recorded session. I hope this is good. And I wish you would be supporting me in my future sessions similar to this. If this particular session gets a good amount of responses, positive responses, I'm going to do a lot of new things here. So welcome back. This is Praveen and let's get on to a direct demo. So let's jump into directly into demo time. So it's demo time. We are going to start coding. And if you look at the screen, the first thing that we are going to do is to do the skeleton of the HTML. So in this thing, we are just putting a basic doc type and there is a head tag and a body tag inside the head tag. We are doing two meta tags. One meta tag is about the character set of which character set that the browser need to use for this website. And second thing is we are also using the viewport meta, which is mainly for responsive web design. For example, in case of this page is viewed on different types of screen sizes. For example, you are on an iPad, you are on a mobile or you are on a desktop. It will be displaying differently according to the device. Finally, we are also giving a title to the page. The title has my full name, Praveen Kumar Purushottaman. And then at the preview, you won't be able to see anything here, but Let's go ahead and start something in the body side of things. So inside the body, we are going to do some skeletal construction as well. So we'll start with the main tag and the footer tag and main tag will have the contents of the main thing that will be displayed in the page and the footer tag will have some links that we will be used to uh, give to the other people. So coming to the preview again, there will be nothing because those two tags are empty tags. Then now let's start with writing the main content section. So first thing that we are going to do is we are going to use a section uh, in that section. We'll be trying to add a figure tag. A figure tag is a combination of an image with a description. So the image is taken from an IMG UR where I upload that as a hot linking place. Generally hot linking is not allowed anywhere. So I generally use a content delivery network, something like Imjure, and then add my picture on it in the figure caption. I try to put two headings. One is the H1 and another is the H2. So H1 contains, Hey, I am Praveen Kumar and H2 contains, I'm a software developer at Cloudroid. This will show you something like this. So it has got a nice preview. And then there is um, those two lines that you saw and coming to the next section is the footer links. So let's try to add a unordered list because any kind of an order, they can click on the code, tweets, blog or vlog. So what happens here is you'll be able to see a, an unordered list of all the links that we just added. So once we have done this one, we should start with styling, right? So first thing always we need to do is a reset style. So let's reset everything, whatever is there in this page with respect to the browsers. And then let's go for looking at the preview. So at this point of time, if you have seen this, we have actually used a font size and font weight have also been removed, which means everything will be of the same font size and the font style as well. No bold, no italic, nothing. Okay. And coming to the next part, we should also write something for the body, the basic styles for the body. So we will be using a flex box display because we want the contents to be displayed in the middle. And also we are also setting a font size of 10 points font size and points means it is going to uh, exactly increase as per what we want. So one EM means hundred percent of the font size, which is at that point and 10 points is we will always use a point based system, not a PX based system for fonts because fonts are, um, they are not raster based. They are vectorized. So you'll be getting something like this. Every single font will be in the same thing. All the padding margin, everything is removed right now. So the next thing that we are going to do is the main content. Let's start styling the main content. So first thing is we'll add a flex since main is a flex box. We'll make it grow to the every possible direction it can, because since we are using a columnar display, we are growing it in the vertical mode. And then for the image, we are going to make it into 128 by 128. I'm just giving only width because in the width, based on the width, it is going to proportionally increase or decrease. I'm also giving a border radius so that it kind of like gives you a nice rounded look. Then we are having a box shadow so that it shows us some kind of a glow. Then the next thing that we are going to do is for the H1 and H2, we are going to set the font sizes. All the font sizes here are in M. 
M means it is the relative um, units of the font sizes in a, um, how should I say, in a non raster way. It is not a raster uh, font size. It's not a raster unit. That is the main thing. And then I give some padding colors, then font weight, all the font weights have been changed. And then the letter spacing is also, I have something I adjusted here. Then for the images, the strong and the italicized. So I have added some nice colors so that it looks different. So coming to see how it looks like, it kind of looks like in a beautiful way, right? So it looks really cool. Um, it has a software developer, CloudRoid, and my name in a bolden fashion. And then at the end, we still have our unstyled footer CSS. Coming to the footer. So let's start styling the footer. So now we have compressed all the main styles into single lines. Now let's start writing the footer styles. For the use, you unordered list, UL, I'm giving a display block so that I can put it into a non-listed thing. And for the list items, they are all into inline block so that I can center them in the parent element footer. Since list item is an inline block element, I'm going to fill it with the A link. So for A, I'm giving display block and giving the padding, border, etc. And I'm also giving some hover effects for it. So this will give us something like this. So you can see in the bottom, we are having beautiful buttons on this. And then coming to the next part, we have to do something about the header stuff. That is the meta things. In case if you want to get your page visible on Google search or something like that, at that point of time, this will be very useful. So coming to the meta part, this is the head side. And we already seen two meta uh, tags that we have written. One is the character set that defines the character of the, like what character set, what language of the HTML page. Second thing is the viewport meta, which enables you in doing the responsiveness. Basically, title is the meta that says, what is the name of this page? The second thing is, there is something called as open graph. Open graph will allow you to uh, give some rich snippets when you are trying to share the link to other websites. For example, here, uh, we have given site title, the site name, what URL it will be in, the description, the website, what type of the page it is. Is it a website or is it an article or something like that? What kind of a thumbnail you want to use? All these things will be displayed by this. Open Graph was founded by Facebook and other people. This is now widely used. Next thing is basic meta descriptions. So title, description, and keywords. These are a couple of things that will help you in the search engine optimization. And we are also concerned about if we are searching, um, sharing this link on Twitter, we want to show some nice Twitter card, which is in the summary large image, in a large image format. So for that, we are using these things. Then main thing, we don't want to use the basic fonts, right? So let's try to um, add a fave icon, which kind of like shows a small world icon. Now it is going to show my photo. And then we don't want to use the basic fonts, right? So here we go. We have got some Google fonts, Tetelium Web, and I have used this from just copy pasting from the Google's website. And finally, we have to link the style sheet with our page by using link href style.css href is style sheet. Now coming to the next part, the reason why we are using the meta tags. So for the link shortcut icon, you would be able to see that before it was just a world icon, then it shows my photo. And for the links and the Facebook share, we will be able to see that at first it doesn't show anything. And then it shows some name and description. And finally, it shows a picture as well. This looks really beautiful, right? So this is something mainly we wanted to do with meta tags. And final CSS is going to be like this. This is all. That's it we have got. And then we our preview looks like this with index.html and the style.css or just index.html with an in embedded style tag. So the embedded style tag will be looking like this. So we have our complete website with the style tag here and then the content here. And finally, thanks a lot for coming in. That's all folks. If you have any questions, please put it in the comments and thank you so much for supporting me. If you like this content, please subscribe, share, and then let me know if this is good. Thank you so much. Bye. Stay safe.